And now, ladies and gentlemen, can I please direct your attention to the front of the stage? We can keep our conversations to a minimum. Once again, if we could please help us out by sharing the word to help keep those conversations to a very minimum. And please direct your attention to the front of the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our 22nd Annual California Wrestling Hall of Fame Banquet. Before we get started, I'd like to present to you one of our longtime executive members and now new director of our California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dwayne Morgan. Thank you, Anthony. I'd like to welcome all of you to our 22nd Annual Banquet. Uh, very exciting. I mean, me and Anthony work a lot of tournaments together and a lot of events with along with Lori Dixon, who you'll see later on this, this evening. And Anthony has one rule. What's that rule, Anthony? Load, Load the mats up. <laughs> and start the tournament on time. All of you can relate to that, right? We start that thing and he does an outstanding job. So give a hand to Anthony for you. <laughs> Tonight we get to honor 28 individuals who've dedicated their lives to the sport of amateur wrestling. Uh, looking around the room, it, it's just exciting seeing old friends, old wrestlers, coaches, and family members who have come to celebrate. It's it, it just an exciting evening. I'm glad you can make it here to join in the celebration. Um, before we get going with the program here, like the board of managers of our uh, Hall of Fame, who range from up and down the state of California, I'd like them to stand right now so we can recognize them, please. Board of members, stand up, please. Where are you? I know you're shy. There we are. There we go. There we are. They, they, they provide input. They provide insight. They provide knowledge across the board so that we can recognize the appropriate people who have dedicated their lives to the sport of wrestling and help their kids, help themselves, help the athletes, and it's just tremendous help. So, board, thank you for all the support and all you've given. <clears throat> Tonight in the group, uh, we got a wide array of athletes, coaches, officials, supporters, including six Olympians. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the program and counted it up, but, it, but it's just an outstanding class we have tonight. So we, we've got four NC2A medalists here. We've got six world medalists, eight CIF medalists, 23 outstanding coaches, and eight meritorious officials. <clears throat> Quite an estate group. So congratulations for being here. Yeah. And, and all these accomplish, accomplishments, as we all know, but we don't say it enough, is the big thank yous that our families, our supporters, our coaches, all the people that got you there. When, when we do now, when I do national teams, we take our kids to the national championships and all that. I have talks with the kids because I like kids, otherwise I wouldn't be in the business. And I say to them, you, you need to say thank you to your parents, to the people that got you here, because you didn't do it by yourself. And we kind of force them to do that. Greg Chappell's in the audience who runs our national team. Patricia Miranda's here who runs our girls' nationals. They, they profess that and they instill that in the guys and girls. We need them to say thank you. So again, we'll keep doing that. And so families, thank you for everything done for these athletes and coaches. Yeah. Speaking of families, I like to recognize the, the helpers today. My three boys and my wife, Leanna. Leanna was at the front, and my three boys are back there. Uh, and, and Tony, who we used to work together at the section office when I was the commissioner, they've done an outstanding job helping setting up. We are here at 11 o'clock. My other boys are out there buying water to help get through the night here. And they've just, uh, I want to say thank you to my family for being here. Leanna, thank you. I appreciate it. Before we move on, and uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a young man in our presence here who, who um, uh, through his dedication, perseverance, commitment to the sport of wrestling, helped create many opportunities for young men, young women to succeed. 
uh, he, he was recently honored at the 50th CIF state championships uh, last but two months ago in February sometime it all blends together but at that state championship he's recognized for one being the person that initiated the first state championship back in 1973 he, he directed the first one and for the last 21 years he has been the director of this Hall of Fame and has just done an outstanding job and hopefully I can stay up with his tenacity and his dedication to the sport. Uh, Mr. Knight, would you stand up a little bit here? <laughs> so he, he, he doesn't know this, but behind his back, behind all the emails where I just delete his name, is the board has voted to create a new Legends Award within the Hall of Fame. And, and that Legends Award is going to be called the the Lindite Lifetime of Distinctive Excellence. And so, and, and so I have never said it to him. He, he was my high school coach over here in San Jose and Oak Grove, but uh, I've never told him. Uh, uh, I'm proud to call you my coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So let's have a good evening, Mr. Morales. Turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Just real quick, how was the food? <laughs> let's give the caterers a round of applause for a great meal. And let's also applause our bartenders, registrations we mentioned before, photographers, video, we have a slicer. Lots of people have been involved. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a beautiful evening. I always get choked up in the beginnings. So here we go. This is always exciting. This is the best part I like. This is one of the things that people always ask me to do, and here it comes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome to our 22nd annual California Wrestling Hall of Fame Banquet. It is sometimes difficult to believe that the first Hall of Fame induction banquet took place on May 27th in the year 2000. The California Wrestling Hall of Fame inducted 382 individuals into the Hall of Fame. This evening is our 22nd banquet and will add 20 more individuals into the class of 2023. And for those of you that don't know, here's just a little history of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Our first two induction banquets were held in Concord, California. Then it moved here to the San Jose area for the next three years. Following those years in San Jose, the banquet moved to Fresno. Then in 2007 and 2008, the banquet moved further south to Southern California. In 2009 and 2010, we moved all the way across the state to Sacramento. Then in 2011, we went back here to San Jose. And 2012, to Bakersfield. 2013, we're in Laguna Hills. And 2014, we're in the Central Valley. Last year, we were in Laguna Hills. Since day one, Lynn Dyke, our former California Resident Hall of Fame director, has wanted to rotate the banquet throughout the state as it only makes sense to recognize these individuals in the area in which they live. It is this way their friends and family have a better opportunity to attend the banquet. Thank you, Lynn, for your most generous concerns for our inductees to share this moment with others. And now, we'd like to begin our recognition ceremonies. This evening is our 17th year that we'll be recognizing some outstanding individuals to receive the Lifetime Service Award. The Hall of Fame board members realized that there were many individuals who have been involved in supporting California high school and collegiate wrestling programs. These individuals have given countless hours of time and effort to improve the stature of amateur wrestling in California as coaches, officials, tournament directors, scorekeepers, announcers, USA wrestling leaders, and leaders in their community. These individuals were not necessarily the outstanding wrestlers, coaches of state championship teams, or wrestling officials, but more importantly, they have given countless hours of their time and energy to support our wrestling programs, and they should be recognized. We are recognizing 14 individuals this evening to receive the Lifetime Service Award. Their names will be engraved on our special recognition board, just as our Hall of Fame inductees' names appear. This evening, as I introduce these individuals, I would ask that they come forward along with the individual that they have asked to serve as their presenter to come forward as well. I will introduce each of these individuals following their introduction. Their selected presenter will present the Lifetime Service Award to the recipient and a photograph will be taken. 
I might also add that because of the anticipated length of this evening's program, these individuals unfortunately will not be given a speech due to time. And now for our first inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Recognition Recipient, the late Mr. Al Steins. Presenting on the family's behalf, California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Jesse Barajas. And accepting the award is Al Stein's son, Mr. Bill Stein. So those gentlemen, please come forward. Al was a Colorado native where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in education from UNC in Greeley, Colorado. He and his wife, Norma, headed west to San Jose where he began teaching at James Lake High School. Along with head coach Pat Lovell, they produced many notable wrestlers such as Jim Plunkett and Dan Lloyd, who won league section and NorCal wrestling individual and team titles. When Al took over the head reins at James Lick, he won the competitive Mount Hamilton League title prior to him moving to Santa Teresa High School as a dean of students. He was also one of the top ranked wrestling officials in the Central Coast section, officiating many of the CCS championship tournaments. Al officiated four CIF tournaments and was highly respected for the leadership role that he wrestling officials. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service proudly recognizes the late Mr. Al Steins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Recognition recipient, the late Mr. Ben Parks. Presenting on the family's behalf is class of 2005 Hall of Fame inductee and former principal at Hollister High School, Mr. Dwayne Morgan. And accepting the award is Mr. Ben Park's son, Mr. Ralph. <laughs> ben was a graduate of Hollister High School where he graduated as a hay biller in 1953. He wanted to begin working, but his high school coach had other dreams for him and drove him directly to Stockton Junior College to play football. Ben continued his education at University of Pacific and then moved on to true passion of coaching young men and women at the high school level. His coaching career began at Edison High School in Stockton, and then he moved to Menlo Atherton High School, where he coached football, wrestling, and tennis for 35 years. Ben's coaching career ended up at Sequoia High School. During that coaching career, he always had his wrestling room doors open for some of the best wrestlers in California to pass through. Coach Parks had numerous tournaments, league, and sectional medals. His service to the community continued throughout his career, which included community outreach by providing food to his hometown through the Coach Parks Community Foundation. Coach Park's other endeavors included being the personal trainer to countless NFL players, including Joe Montana, correction, Montana, and Ronnie Law. Coach Sparks always believed that every day was an opportunity to give back and help someone where an impact could be made. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Rest Hall of Fame Lifetime Service probably recognizes the late Mr. Ben Parks. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2013, correction, our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Bob Bronson. His presenter is Class of 2019 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Clark Conover. <laughs> Bob has been involved in the sport of wrestling for nearly six decades. He was hired in 1964 at Livermore High School as a teacher and coach for wrestling, football, and baseball, and continued until the end of 1974 when he was promoted to an administrative position. He then took the reins there again during the 1982-83 season when the wrestling program was unexpectedly in need of a head coach at the early part of the season. During his coaching tenure, Bronson produced seven East Bay Athletic League championship teams. 33 individual EBA champ, EBAL champions, four North Coast Section Region 2 placers, NC2S Region 2 champion, eight NCS placers, NCS champion, and a Northern California Invitational champion in 1967. A master of the art of motivating his athletes as well as promoting his program. Bob, on the average, had up to 80 kids on his roster and was also very instrumental in organizing router buses for students and fans to attend OA dual meets. Always known to be organized and detail-oriented, Bob took his skills back to the wrestling mat and was a tournament director for the Livermore Invitational and Jim Milner Frost Soft Tournaments for many years. The Livermore Invitational was renamed in the early 1990s to the Bob Bronson Invitational in his honor. 
He also helped run the CIF North Coast Section Championships and was directed several EBAL novice JV level tournaments. Bob was one of the first individuals to use a computer to run a wrestling tournament in the early 1980s. Bob has run more than 137 wrestling tournaments in his career. Photography has been a long passion of his since his first coaching position. Bob has actually taken thousands of photos of wrestlers in the Livermore School District and has expanded to the CIF North Coast section. Retired from the Livermore Valley Unified School District as a deputy superintendent, Bob is still actively taking photos of wrestling as well as other extracurricular activities in the school district. In 2019, Bob was awarded the Earth Honor Award at the CIF State Championships for his outstanding contributions and promotion of wrestling in the state of California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Bob Bron Bronson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Recognition recipient, the late Mr. Bob Gustafson. Presenting. Standing on the family's behalf is the grandson, Hayden, and accepting the award is Bob's wife, Barbara. <laughs> Bob served as a wrestling co-head coach and head coach for 35 years. He began his career as head wrestling coach at Blackford High School and has resurrected the wrestling programs at many schools. Bob served as a wrestling coach at five different high schools as head coach at Blackford, Westmont, Santa Teresa, and as co-head coach at Delmore and Brannan. His teams won league championships at all five schools. In addition to wrestling, he coached football for 42 years, winning 12 league championships, four as head coach and seven as assistant. Bob received the Herb Allen Award presented at the state tournament for the dedication and commitment that he gave to the sport of wrestling. In addition to his high school coaching, he was a golf instructor and assistant football coach at Foothill Community College for 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 California Russell Hall of Fame Lifetime Service proudly recognizes the late Mr. Bob Gesselton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Recognition recipient, the late Mr. Ernie Sikachi. Presenting on the family's behalf is class of 2000 Hall of Fame inductee and referee buddy, Mr. Lynn Dyke. And accepting the award is Ernie's brother, Marty Sakachi. <laughs> Ernie was a very versatile and successful coach, leader, teacher, and mentor at the high school and collegiate levels. He coached four high school sports, football, wrestling, basketball, and baseball, while teaching at St. Mary's High School and Mount Diablo High School. He was hired at DVC in 1963, and became the athletic director, and had started the wrestling program and coached for five years with all winning seasons. Ernie became the head coach of the baseball program at Diablo Valley College in 1968, and in 1977, his team won the community college state championships. He is a member of the Diablo Valley College Hall of Fame, St. Mary's College Hall of Fame, California Community College Baseball Coach Hall of Fame, and Mount Diablo High School Hall of Fame. Ernie was also credited with the beginning of the women's volleyball team at DVC. During his career, he officiated college wrestling and served as a Northern California Officials Assigning Coordinator for 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service proudly recognizes the late Mr. Ernie Sakachi. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Fred Ayers. <laughs> His presenter is coach, Mr. Jake Fitzpatrick. Fred has served as a commissioner of the Redwood Empire Wrestling Officials Association for 26 years and as president of the Association for five years. Fred has also been the North Coast Section Wrestling Rules Interpreter for 20 years. He has been a wrestling official for 44 years, including officiating seven state tournaments as well as 15 years as a state tournament evaluator. He has served as a head official of the North Coast Section Duels Championship for 18 years. Fred is very proud of the fact that he has mentored so many officials who have officiated at the state tournament as well as the North Coast Section Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Fred Peters.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Jay Lawson. His presenter is his brother, Mr. Terry Lawson. Jay's first competitive match was in 1962 at a Cupertino recreation tournament created by his dad, Sam Lawson. He wrestled at Kennedy Junior High School in Homestead High School, coached by Rob Rideout. He then wrestled at the Anza Junior College, coached by Tuck Halsey, and placed fourth in the state. Jay continued his education in wrestling at UC Santa Barbara, coached by Bobby Douglas and Ed Schwartz, and his wrestling record was 120 wins and 20 defeats. Jay's coaching career started as an assistant at UCSB and then became the head coach at Homestead High School. He later became the head coach at Monta Vista and Cupertino High Schools, so which resulted in 13 Deanza SCBAL championships. Jay is currently coaching at Lawson Middle School. In addition to coaching, Jay was the director of the Monta Vista Invitational and the Gary Bianchi and Danny Ripple Memorial Tournaments. He also coached at the Bobby Douglas Iowa State, San Jose State, Harker, and LMS Summer Camps. He has been previously recognized by being inducted into the Deanza Junior College Hall of Fame, the CIF CCS Coach of the Year, the SCBAL Coach of the Year. He received the Ur Owner Award at the state tournament and was inducted into the Cupertino High School Honorary Hall of Fame. Jay was inducted into the California chapter of the National Russell Hall of Fame in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Russell Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Jay Lawson. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Joan Full. Executive Board, Second Vice President, National Women's Age Group Council Chair, and Girls High School Development Committee Co-Chair. She is also a member of the National Wrestling Coaches Association Board of Directors. Joan is the first woman elected to serve as an officer on the USA Wrestling Executive Board for Directors as Second Vice President. From 1990 on, she worked beside her husband, Lee Allen, to promote and create opportunities for girls and women to wrestle their own gender in California. She supported the Half Moon Bay High School girls wrestling team by organizing the season schedule, driving athletes to competition, and coaching alongside Lee. Both Joan and Lee pushed for a girls California State Championship and worked continuously to promote an awareness of wrestling opportunities for girls and women at the national level. Joan's two daughters attended Menlo College, where their father Lee Allen coached the women's team. Joan continued to support the Menlo team as an assistant helping with driving, travel logistics, and administrative tasks. Since 2016, Joan has worked alongside Andrea Yamamoto, supporting high school athletic associations across the nation in the process of creating a girls' state wrestling championship. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Joan Clark. CCS championships and nine boys and girls CIS state championships.
recipient, Mr. Mark Delgado. His presenter is Oklahoma assistant coach, Mr. Francisco Escobar. Before I read Mark Delgado's bio, you know, there's several people in the audience that I'm very close to, but one of them being Mark Delgado. I'm going to tell you, if you guys need a DJ, Mark Delgado has the music. This guy sends me music practically once a month, and I tell him, keep sending me more, keep sending me more. So Mark, I appreciate that. Mark began his wrestling career at William C. Lorbelt High School in San Jose, where he was a member of the wrestling teams that won four straight league championships. Mark attended San Jose State University, where he received a degree in human performance and a minor in biology, but also attaining a certified athletic training authorization. He also obtained his master's degree in administration in urban high school leadership at San Jose State University. He returned to his alma mater and became an assistant wrestling coach and then head wrestling coach in 1997. His teams continued the winning the tradition of the Overfelt Royals, while winning many league titles and sending numerous wrestlers to the section and state championships. He coached 50 CCS medalists and nine CCS champions. He had been the athletic director for 19 years and a member of the Central Coast Section Athletic Director and Advisor Committee. Mark remains on the CIA State Wrestling Advisory Committee while representing the CCS. He has been on the cutting edge of introducing track wrestling, a web-based program which facilitates over 200 wrestling tournaments. His expertise in the web-based program was instrumental in moving wrestling in the CIA State Wrestling Championships from pencil and paper to the electronic platform that is being used in today's events. In 2009, Mark was awarded the Central Coast Section Honor Coach as well as a CIF Model Coach for his outstanding contribution to wrestling. He also represented the state of California nationally. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Mark Delgado. Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Simon Jimenez. <laughs> His presenter is Mr. Isaiah Jimenez. <laughs> I must say, before I speak, there's a lot of sweet, kind people, but Simon is one of those. He's like the salt of the earth. He's so kind. So, Simon, congratulations. Simon's wrestling career at Gonzales High School spanned the years from 1979 through 1983. He participated in three sports in high school and was an all-league selection in football, wrestling, and track. His high school wrestling career notched 100 wins, collecting numerous league and section medals. He eventually returned to his alma mater as a head coach at Gonzales and remained for 18 years. His teams won numerous league titles, and his athletes performed remarkably at higher-level tournaments. He then went on to Palma High School, where he has been the head coach for 20 years. Overall, his teams have amassed 200 dual meet wins, five-time top four CCS team finishes, 80 CCS medalists, four CCS champions, three CIF state medalists, nine collegiate wrestlers, and one nc 2 All-American. He continues to coach young men and women at Palma High School. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Simon Jimenez. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mrs. Gloria Dixon. <laughs> As Laura walks up here, just another quick short story. Laura and I worked several big tournaments, large tournaments together. And I know that she has a lot of stress on her shoulders. And there'll be purposely times that I will say, let's load them. And she gets very upset at me, but we, she does a great job as far as getting those mats ready and prepared. More than 30 years ago, Laura began her wrestling journey at Cupertino High School. Always a lover of any type of sports, wrestling filled a niche for her that it was an individual team sport. The camaraderie of the Cupertino wrestlers drew Laura in, and the friendship she made still remain. Laura even met her husband at the Cupertino Memorial Tournament more than 20 years ago. Lori has been a mainstay for tournament operations in California for the past three decades. She began running wrestling tournaments by hand and was very adept in the process, and her tournaments were exceptionally well run. 
where the electronic tournament operations became a pioneer in seeding, running, and awarding tournament placers using Pioneer software. Once online tournament operations became available, she was a leader in not just using the technology, but mentoring other people in the uses of this great online tool to eliminate paper at tournaments. No more weigh-in cards, no more bout sheets, no more team score and tabulations. Lori carried these skills in the position of Chief of Tournament Operations for California USA Wrestling. Her duties range from not just the running of California USA 15 mat tournaments, but in the mentoring of other individuals to help process tournaments using the latest online programs. Lori has held this position for the past 12 years. She was also the lead person for the Central Coast section for almost two decades, and her valuable skills helped meld the boys and girls tournaments together into one smooth operation. The friendships and connections that she has made over the years remain very dear to her. She says, I have only wanted to provide the best possible experience for the athletes, a place would nurture them and allow them to grow and thrive. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Russell Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mrs. Lorraine Dixon. And now for the other half, ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Roberto Dixon. So Berto and I also have a standing joke by running tournaments together as well. It could have been the year 2000 and so we'd say, okay, you know, such and such tournament, 2010, 2010, here comes 2010. Then 2010 arrives where we're saying, okay, 2020, 2020. Well, actually, that was a, not a good year. Let's not mention that year. But uh, 2021, you know. And so here we are, still going. Now what are we doing, Berto? We're doing 2030? Berto, are we doing 2030? 2030. 2030. <laughs> Roberto began his wrestling career in the middle school and carried his passion to Monterey High School, where he was a multiple-time section qualifier. He also wrestled freestyle on Greco Roman for California USA Wrestling, where he participated in the Junior Nationals. Roberto continued his international wrestling by representing the country of Panama in the Pan Am Games and also at the World Championships where he had the honor of carrying the Panamanian flag in the ceremonies. For the past 35 years, Roberto has taught physical education in the Pacific Grove while also serving as a head wrestling coach at his alma mater, Monterey High School, since 1997. He has been awarded the Central Coast Section Honor Coach and also the CF Model Coach Award for Wrestling. He has continued his involvement with the California USA Wrestling by being the director of the Santa Clara Ballet Association since 2000. Roberto continues to be the head coach for the California Junior Dual Meet teams and the head freestyle coach for the Junior Nationals. He continues to provide clinics and opportunities for young men and women. Roberto has dedicated his life to the sport of wrestling and values the opportunities that wrestling has given him and he continues to give back to the sport that has given him so much. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Wrestling Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Roberto Dixon. And now our final inductee for Lifetime Service. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our 2023 Lifetime Service Award recipient, Mr. Ted Kano. Accepting the award are Ted Kano's two sons, Matt and Tim Kano. And their presenter is class of 2000 Hall of Fame inductee and fellow coach of Ted Kano, Mr. Len Dyke. Ted has been actively involved with various wrestling activities since 1966 when he coached Hamilton City High School's wrestlers. He was a teacher and assistant wrestling coach at West Bakersfield High School and Chico High School. He assisted Lee Allen at Skyline College, Jim Rudin at West Valley College, and Lynn Dyke at Oak Grove, correction, Oak Grove High School for three years before becoming the head coach at Santa Teresa High School. Ted was also the assistant tournament director of the first California State Tournament in 1973. He was a cultural exchange coach that competed in Hawaii and also a year later in Japan. He later coached at Herman Middle School. Ted coached the kids' wrestling program in San Jose and sat quietly in the stands while his two sons, Matt and Tim, wrestled at Stanford and Cal Poly. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 2023 California Russell Hall of Fame Lifetime Service Award to Mr. Ted Kano. Thank you. 